I had made realizations prior to um, prior to the pandemic in regards to social distancing measures that were being taken as a way to uh, convenience. And this video is a little bit different from my other videos in that I'm talking a little bit about some of my expertise um, as an expert in geography and environmental science. I have. Uh, multiple degrees and certificates in those spaces uh, and written research theses on population geography and so forth so I've always considered the world to be it's not, sorry not me but uh, the experts the carry capacity of the world to be about 1.5 billion people we've obviously exceeded that by a lot <clears throat> so not looking at a micro level view as an individual basis where I'm very empathetic and can cry just seeing one homeless person I do realize on a, on a, on a macro scale looking from the viewpoint of the earth the ecosystem that have been decimated a decrease in human population by about two thirds would be much, much needed uh, remedy to create a sustainable carrying capacity um, load for the earth to reestablish its uh, core keystone uh, pipeline and maintain its, its original uh, purpose of sustaining itself. I won't get into all the fascinating things that I've been researching in, in regards to how you are literally stardust and how oxygen was formed and the miracle of life as it is, um, maybe at a different time. Uh, read the book God Forsaken, whether you're a Christian or not, it's, um, I'm, I'm an um, aspiring Christian I should say. But I do believe in a higher being, and I do believe in God, and I do absolutely believe in Him, and it's based purely on science. But anyway, I wanted to talk about that, you know, the, the carrying capacity and the load of the world. Um, it's going to happen where you have 
where you have places with high population densities that there's going to be a, a, obviously half of the cases in the United States of Corona are in New York City, you know. Um, so you have nine million people there, which is what uh, out of you know three hundred thirty million people. That's roughly that's very low, you know, in the population total, right? So that's if I could do the math in my head, I don't have the brain power. I'm very tired and I sleep well. Um, anyway, so, and that's because they're all living on top of each other. So, um, we need to realize that this is just part of life. And uh, just as the flu is. For every person that dies of corona right now, 60 people die of the flu, and the flu is only a 10% to 40% effective, and, um, or sorry, the flu vaccine, and we just have to be cognizant of that, and, um, and this could change lives and, and humanity, but it's not going to end us, it's certainly not going to dwindle the population by a meaningful amount, even if every human being on earth got it it would kill maybe 70 million people and uh, 65 of them, 65 million of them would be elderly or immune compromised. And that's terrible. It's terrible for anybody to die, whether you're 99 or five years old. Of course, it's a tragedy. And there's a lot of people impacted by that. 70 million people, that's 70 million families. Um, but that's like worst case scenario. And, uh, you know, that's, that would be 1% of the human population. Um, by, by contrast, you know, very unlikely to happen, and we have, um, we lose about a million people to the flu every year, and about a billion people, one billion people get the flu every year. So, and with the estimates of mortality at 1% with corona, which they say will be a lot lower in the end, as a lot of people are asymptomatic, and um, so really the amount of cases you see reported, there's probably 10 times of the amount of cases. Similar with the flu, where people have it, but they don't report it because they're, they just stay at home and get better, and there's really not a lot you can do if you're not vaccinated for viral infections um, other than the you know staying hydrated um trying to boost immune system through 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 vitamin c and just making sure you're, you know you're you're practicing the best uh healthy things you could do for your body and preventative preventatively the same things making sure that you're eating and drinking plenty of fresh quality foods and and uh juices anyway that's all i have to say for now and um thank you bye